Wait a second, am I starting to like beer? What's going on here? I watch Hello Okanagan from Penticton. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Hello Okanagan. We're doing a brewery tour down here in Penticton. There's a lot of great breweries, a lot of them actually near each other, so you can actually do brewing tours. But there's a lot that we can't get to, like Highway 97, we wanna say thank you. We know how great you are. I visited you guys last time I was here, David. There's a couple of others we can't visit. Yeah, we got Barley Mill Brewing Company and the Tin Whistle Brewing Company. However, we're about to head into Abandoned Rail Brewing Company out here in Naramata, on the Naramata bench, actually. It's one of the only breweries, if not the only brewery out yeah. here. So we're gonna head in there right now. Come check it out, guys. So uh, what are we going to start with now? I also, there's one missing. I kind of already started with one. Peter, just explain the beer before you I drink know, it. I know, but it's so nice and it smells okay, so good. Okay, anyways, let's, I will be polite now. You can tell me, what What are we starting with here? So this is our Märzen. It's a Bavarian lager. Sounds like it. Märzen. 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 <laughs> so it's more malt forward so with some notes of caramel in it. Okay. Here it comes, folks. For you guys at home that don't know this, David's got a stunt double when we do dangerous things, and he's got a drinking double when we do drinking games. So, we're day drinking right now, but David's gonna have that bitter beer face. He I, on the other it. hand, think it's refreshing. It's not too dry, and that's one thing I don't like about beer. Some beers are very dry, but this, this is great. It's actually got a nice scent to it, too. All right, next one. So this is our Euro IPA. Uh, it's called Tunnel Vision IPA. And Tunnel Vision, wait up. I love that name. This is the award winner? So this is our award winner, yeah. Here guys, there you go, check us out. We got award winners in the house. Peter, who would you like to thank? I would like to thank this brewery for giving us some beer. Well, let's try in this the award winning monster. Oh, it's got a great little fresh spring scent to it. Well, the biggest question I have to ask for you right now is, for your tasting and your tasting rooms, when are you guys open throughout the years and all year round? So we're open all year round. And you guys just opened like in yeah, March? In March, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you, thanks. They got an award, Nate, just opened up in March. Hey guys, so whenever you're out in Penticton, take a drive up to Naramata Bench. There's obviously some wineries you can check out, but if you're a beer person, you have to pop in here, do a tasting, grab some six packs. What do they come in? Four packs. Four yeah. packs? I was yeah. just gonna say, yeah, probably four packs. So grab some beer. Do you have food here too? We do, yeah. So we try and locally source as much as possible. So we have um, things sourced from the Naramata General Store, up in Kaledon uh, from Doug's Homestead. Yeah. And then we bring in local food trucks and try to support the local community as much as possible. Awesome. Yeah. And there's a bike trail. So you were saying that there's a lot of people on bikes that mm -hmm. are taking the trail, but mm -hmm. they come here and they have a couple of drinks and then they yep. can just continue the trail. Yeah, and a lot of families come through, so it's a really family-oriented family brewery. that I've chosen for you is uh, it kind of crosses all sorts of, uh, of, of different uh, styles. Beer styles are often locked in a, in a, a, a cabinet of this is what the style should be. 
but brewers kind of push all boundaries all the time so some of these are pushing those those boundaries the first one is the lake boat lager Loggers are difficult for uh, craft breweries to, to make because lagering takes an awful lot of time in the tank. And while we're trying the lager here, why don't you tell us a little bit about Cannery Brewing, how it came about, and kind of the story behind it. What makes it different? Mm. Well, in this uh, industry, we're kind of uh, often considered the dinosaurs of this, uh, this industry. We uh, brewed our first batch of beer. It was uh, this third one here, the Near Matter Nut Brown Ale, on April Fool's Day in 2001 seemed like an auspicious day to start a brewery and uh, and so we did we're here and it's a beautiful day but in the middle of winter you guys are still open or is it just the spring summer venue we are still open inside the tap room where we'll have a look there the patio will probably be closed if it's December although uh, people here push the limits right into uh, nice. to pretty cold so they're sampling with the flights yep. and then you sell package like we four packs you have growlers as well we have growlers you do? yeah we have excellent food as, uh, as well. So what's the second one we got here? <laughs> By the way, this was very tasty. The second one is Skaha Hazy Pale Ale. So hazy pale ales in the world of craft beer right now are quite big. They're crisp, refreshing, yeah. definitely fruity. Yeah. And this is the first one you guys made, So that's correct? our flagship still. This is an Aromata Nut Brown Ale. It is uh, a dark beer, but it's not a bitter beer. Nut Brown Ale is a style of beer. I was talking about those boxes. It's got a stubbornly loyal following that we're very, very grateful for. My favorite one Moving so on. far. This okay. looks like something okay, more so down my alley. So this is, uh, this is, you need to take a sip and then stop and then take another sip. You're knocking your palate into a different zone. This is a sour. Oh yeah, I like <laughs> What's the that. Fruit that's and, uh, we thought, okay, well we'll start with uh, with raspberries and see how that works out. We like the raspberries, and then we'll say, well let's try blackberries, and we thought, ah, that's okay. We like then let's try putting the two of them together, so blackberries and raspberries, and then we put that little bit of blueberry in it, and bang, wow. it was bang. And look at the color, that's just phenomenal. Something that's really cool about this spot here is if Mitchell can show you, there's a rolling gate, and that's when they bring in different food trucks here when the patio is open so check out their website and see when the patio is open what season you end up watching this episode and get ready for that but there is food indoors for the cool days in the fall and the winter you got a great kitchen to check out some of those foods let's go Uh, this is the brew house at this end. These four uh, tanks right here consist of the hot liquor tank, which is a strange name for a tank that only ever holds hot water. <laughs> it also consists of the brew, house, the brew kettle in the, in the corner, the upside down conical shaped hopper, and the mash tun. These tanks here are what stores the beer itself after it's these, made? These are called fermentation tanks. So once the, the, the beer has been brewed here, it, uh, it, it gets moved into a tank and starts the next part of its journey. Ah, the next All part of its journey, I love that. So, uh, yes, the bar is down at the end. These uh, cans in the middle move around to form a, uh, a, a wall of cans, literally, all around the other ground. We gotta be careful because I hear the current around Alcatraz is really strong. So <laughs> yeah, we're right in the midst right of it right now. Hey everyone, make sure you jump on to HelloOkanagan.com if you're looking for some gift ideas like our merch. We got t-shirts, hoodies, and so much more. Check it out. HelloOkanagan.com. tour continues well uh, we're here in the neighborhood I guess you could say Brittany uh, and we're here now at neighborhood brewing company see what I did there so thank you so much for joining us today yeah, of course. so I see I see by your sign you have beers and sunshine oh, yeah. and it seems like we've got both here today we really lucked out actually we didn't luck out when you come to the Okanagan you're gonna get Sun most of the time so give us a little quick rundown here. When did you guys open up? Yeah, so we opened in November of 2020 and it's just been rocking since. It's been amazing and we're happy to have all the tourists come in and then we have our locals. It's great. And you guys are more than just beer. So what else yeah, is in there? What can we find in there? So we can get your local wineries that are all through up in Naramata and we have some Summerland ciders. 
Well, I think guys, that was an invite for us to have a couple of flights and taste the beer. Let's go. So, do you want to start us off with one? Yeah, so I'll start you off with the, we always go left to right with our flights. Uh, they read downwards. They should be in order of lightest to darkest. So we're going to start you off with your light lager. It is crispy and clear. And if you're into drinking a Corona. That was the thing I noticed too, is like the shape of some of these little flights. It depends on the size their... too, because those are four ounces. Okay. Um, flights around five or four? Between four and six. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, pretty light. Oh yeah. That's very light. 4.5. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's even light in alcohol, not just light flavor. Mm. And just so you guys know, sometimes when we're doing our shows, we can't be front of house because it's either too noisy with the crowd and these guys are packed right now. So we're where the magic happens. Let's go, uh, let's take another journey. It's gonna be Happy Place. This is our juicy pale ale. With a little bit of grapefruit and citrus notes to it. Uh, very juicy. Oh, wow, this is a home run. Yeah, this is great. I mean. This is comparable to like the Cronenberg Blancs and uh, Whole Gardens, if you guys know what that is. Yeah, this, this is great. I love it. I'm going to keep this here a little closer. I'll finish <laughs> it off later. Okay, what do we have next? And then we have Sunshine City, which is an award winning of ours. It is our only wheat ale right now, and it's a passion fruit wheat ale. Which has been the most popular one with you guys? Probably the Lifelong Light Lager okay. or Just Sunshine City. And this is, so yesterday when we were chatting with a few other breweries and today as well on our little tour here, the one thing that we've noticed, what everybody says, is a beer like this seems to be the hit because you're hitting a larger demographic. There's not a lot of people that want that heavy stout or this and that. Totally, yeah, or right. this, this is This works with anybody, but it does seem like you guys do have a little bit of everything, but I can tell that that's why that would be the more popular one. Besides the beer now, you guys have a wonderful front of house, mm -hmm. great patio yeah. in the spring, summer, obviously. People are watching this in the fall and winter. You guys are open up throughout the year. Um, specials, any events, anything happen with you guys through the yeah, winter season? Yeah, we're, we're trying to get some things going. Uh, we want to bring in more of the local people, so you'll, you'll continue to hear more about it later. I can't spill all the details of what's going to happen, okay. uh, but we are going to have some events. And if people want more information, where do they go to find it? Uh, our social media, so what is our it uh, neighborhood brewery um, on Instagram. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, no Thank worries. You. Really appreciate it. Of course, anytime. Another one of our favorite breweries here in Penticton is Bad Tattoo. Peter and I have been here once or twice. Yes, and it's not all about tattoos. You don't get one of those here. But what the tattoo means is when you have their beer, and especially that amazing pizza, that flavor is tattooed in your soul, in your mind. So every time you come back to Penticton, you gotta come back to the bad tattoo. Liam from Slackwater Slack Brewing. Water Brewing. <laughs> so Liam, you're, you're the owner? Yes. So tell us when this came about and why. My wife kind of got me out of a rut in my old job. Didn't have much of a uh, work-life balance. Can kind of took me out of cell range, started fly fishing. I was already into beer, got her more into beer. One day on a big long trip we did from Whistler down through to North California and back, we did about 20 something breweries, fished a bunch of rivers, and so started a fishing inspired brewery one day. I'm fascinated. So, you wanted more work life balance, and the solution was let's open a restaurant and brewery. <laughs> yeah, I really, really missed that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, what makes Slackwater different from other breweries? We try to make our beers as accessible and as approachable as possible. You want to cast a bigger net. No pun intended with the fishing, but you want to cast... That was a good one. This guy. <laughs> Light bulb. Is this guy professional or what? But seriously, like, especially in a smaller town like this, 
you want to cast a larger net because if your specific if drinking uh, population is for a certain stout or something, you're not going to sell as much of something that you think will be enjoyed by more people. Exactly, and for a small brewery, we have a lot of core brands. So like our brands that we make year round, we have two different styles of IPA, a hazy pale ale, a German lager, a light lager, an amber ale, uh, Italian pilsner. Nice. You're making me thirsty by talking about this, so I think we should just take this to the next level and go do a tasting. So okay. this is our flagship, our German Hedda Slager. Um, you like the light stuff. Yes, I do. So he likes the light Again, stuff. lager's 90% of the beer drank on the planet. We knew when we were starting up we need to have a hell of a good lager. Easy to drink on a hot summer's day or... Wait a second, skiing. am I starting to like beer? What's going on here? Uh, victory is mine! We got you! Victory is mine! <laughs> have I just, have I just brought you to the dark have side? Have you just taken me to enough breweries that now it's just become an acquired taste? Yeah. So what's the next one? This is our big summer cellar. This is our nautical nonsense. It's a pineapple sour with pink sea salt. Do you do, like, do you have to smell beer too? Like, definitely smells as pineapple. As you, as, like, my first is as long as you enjoy it. Like, yeah, some well. people give it the swell, the whole wine treatment. Pineapple from Southern Okanagan? Yes. <laughs> yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything's from the, the Okanagan. The further south. The further south, the further yeah. South the this is our What the Fog, so this is our kind of flagship, if you will, our most popular beer. Uh, so this is like a London Fog kind of take, or why is it called What the Fog? Um, Fog, I didn't want to go the route where everyone else just calls them hazy beers. Okay. So some of the, the breweries in the States prefer it was foggy and I Oh, so it has it. nothing to do with like London fog. It's no. just, okay, it's fog for that reason. Okay. We, we, <laughs> we, we had its uh, bigger brother, we had the double version of that called the What the Fog in Fog back last year. <laughs> nice. It was like an eight and a half percent version of that. Well, fog, fog and fog, Peter, you gotta try some of that. Uh, this is our Idleback Amber Ale. This one gold at the Canadian Brewing Awards last year and silver this year, so. Wait up, you're bragging. What was it again? Gold and then silver. Wow. Uh, the Canadian, so national level. So wow. we're pretty proud of this little guy. So just like Peter, it progressively get wor gets worse the longer it sits from gold to silver. And yeah, yeah. Silver and I, like, I don't talk about the silver very much. Okay. Gold. Okay. So <laughs> like our height and size. Okay. Exactly, like Russian dolls. We're here with Lucas from Pen Brews Tours. It's like Pen Bros, like us, but brews for beer. Pen it's better, bros. better when sort I explain like, jokes, yeah. you know? A little bit of bros, a little bit of brews. That's right, yeah, brews and bros. Brew it's a pedal bike yeah. with numerous people. Yeah. So you're sharing the pedal yeah. while you're enjoying brews. Totally. You can have up to 12 people uh, on these brewery tours, and as a local, I love the breweries that are coming up in, in Penticton here, and we really have lots now. I thought it's a great reason to have something that's kind of fun, kind of active. When you think Okanagan, you think kind of active lifestyle, right? Yeah. You think you want to do something kind of fun with your friends. Well, not just the people tourism. that live here, but the people that and come tourism, to visit right. here. Absolutely. They, they want to do the tour, totally. but at the same time, why did they come here? It's the weather. Totally. So you're giving them both. Yeah. You're outdoors, for God's sake. Absolutely. You're not stuck indoors. How much do you want to visit Penticton and you want to get a view and some beers that we have amazing craft brews here. So I thought, let's combine the two and what's better than biking? Right? We have the, the challenge and we've had the Ironman here in Penticton. I thought, let's combine the two. Let's do something kind of fun. I like being active, I like hosting other people. Yeah. So let's, let's do something that's biking, right? Um, so which, which months are you open? Like how, what seasons are you usually open? Totally, around? totally. My, this is my first year here in Penticton. So we kind of started like kind of early jo July to September. Um, my plan is going to be kind of like June, kind of to mid-September, maybe October. Okay. Um, so at, as season goes by, I'm hoping to add a little bit more. Yeah. And uh, invite more people to kind of enjoy. So I'm hoping that's kind of the goal for that. Awesome. Make sure, guys, make sure you do this. Book well in advance, because this guy's booked early. So get on the internet right now. Get on their website and book a tour. And if you got any questions, this guy's easy to talk to. Do it now. Hello, all you amazing Okanagan people. I'm Saffron Quist. And I'm Chelsea Baker. And this is another episode of Okanagan Update. Duffelbeg Theatre presents A Christmas Carol on Sunday, November 27th at the Vernon and District Performing Arts Centre. What better way to get into the Christmas spirit than with this unique twist on a Dickens classic? The main parts of this production will be played by audience members, creating a fun, interactive, possibly hilarious experience had by all. 
Take a short drive to the countryside of East Kelowna and discover the Christmas in the Country Market on November 27th. East Kelowna Market never disappoints. With food trucks, kids crafts, tons of local artisans, music, and so much sweet country charm. Come support local and get your Christmas shopping done. The City of Penticton presents the 2022 Santa Claus Parade on December 3rd. Dozens of fabulously decorated Christmas floats will cruise their way down Main Street in downtown Penticton starting at 4.30 p.m. Dress warm and take in the lights and music and of course wave to Santa. For details on these events or to find more upcoming things to do, head to dothekanagan.com. And if you'd like your business, brand, or event featured on an upcoming episode of Hello Okanagan, you can reserve your spot at dothekanagan.com. And that's it for your Okanagan update. Back to the icicles.